Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and in this video, I will show you how to add data to an existing chart and how to move it to a secondary axis. Here we have the chart we created of the European Union uh, member countries, the population data. Hmm. No, I thought let's just give it a title. <laughs> Population. All right. First, we select the chart area. It's this. This is called the chart area, and this is called the plot area. And then you have the axis form, and you have the legend, and obviously the titles. If you select this, we can go to select data, and we're going to add a data series because you see each country in this case is a data series, and we're going to add one. Where it first asks for the series name. What we're going to do is we're going to add the total population of the European Union. This is the data that all their all their stuff is in as well, all their other values. And the series values are these. Now, if we click OK, and again OK, we've added it to our chart. As you can see, the chart, has, the chart has changed quite a bit. That's because the new data series, this one, you see EU 27 countries, is a lot bigger. Uh, also, if, yes, there we have it. It's big enough. There you see, that's the new thing appearing. <laughs> the uh, There's another one there. I did a test run of this video. That's why it shows two times. Um, so what you would ideally want is you want to include this data, but not in the same scale as the other one data, because Germany is still visible, but the rest is all just not properly visible anymore. So what we do is we click it with the right mouse button, button and we go to Format Data Series. And here you have a few uh, options. And the option we're looking for is secondary axis. As you can see now, uh, the our original data has its original scale back. And we have a secondary axis here, secondary y axis, which is scaled as well. It begins at 47, 470 million, and it ends at 510 million. But it's still, I'm still not happy because these big fat e uh, total EU bars are blocking our vision of the tiny countries and they don't like that. So again, we go to uh, format data series and we could do stuff like, well, let's not do a fill. Then you had, or we could do a gradient fill. Or we could say we have a fill, but we make it transparent. And so this this would help because now you can still see it again. This is better. But the best option in this case would be to go to change series chart type. And I can say I want a line out of this one. Let's pick this one. There you are. And now we have a combined column uh, chart for the individual countries and a line for the total. And I'm going to make the line color mm -hmm. Yeah, here it is. Oh, there's no markers. That's why I didn't. Line color, right. Solid line color. I want it to be yellow. Yeah, because otherwise it was too much the same as Germany. All right, oh, we have to fix the legend again. Yeah, there it is, EU 27 countries in yellow. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you move over to my website, worksmarter.tv, you can subscribe um, to my mailing list and get updates and tips and tricks on using Excel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.